Tzom Vayelech Shvi. It's Moshe commands the Levim, and he says, Lokayach HaSeif HaTayra HaZev, Asam to Moshe Mitzad Aron, and take the Seif HaTayra and put it next to the Aron. Moshe wrote, I think, 13 Seif HaTayra in the last day. They put one, and they gave one to each Sheva, and then one that came next to the Aron. So I saw, I think in the Lev Aron, from the current, one of the current Satmar Rebbes, he says, Lokayach HaSeif HaTayra HaZev, take a Moshe, Take a learning from this Sefer Torah. Why? The Kli Yaka, he says that the Levian, they're Bala Yisur. So they were the smallest Levi, the Aryan would, because they wouldn't, the Aryan would, they would, they would die. They would, if they weren't Noyeg, the, since they carried the Aryan, if they weren't Noyeg, the proper cover, they would die. He says, but also, throughout the generations, also, their, their Hashem took them to be a Mechaper for Klai They suffered for Klai Yisur, the Levian. So it could be it's a remez to the Bala Yisur. So the Musa that of someone, Chasu Shalom, who has Yisur, should take is from the Sefer Torah, is that the Swarm say, now just like the Sefer Torah needs to be written on cloth, and the cloth needs to be set aside from the beginning. It's called Hazmon, it has to be in Mizumran. This is for Kedusha Sefer Torah. And then they ma'abed the cloth, and they stretch it, and they bang it, and they cut it, and they soak it, and they salt it, and they to process it. It all has to be Lishma, Hashem Shemaim, for the Kedusha Sefer Torah. So that's for a Torah Shabbat Chsav. For Torah Shabbat Peh, the cloth is the person's body. And Hashem is ma'abed the cloth, which is the person's body, and that's through Yisur. It gets clapped and hacked and whatever it is. And also it says that a person has to accept the Yisur in the right way. That's also Lush, that's the Lashma. The Maral in the first Yisrael, I think in, Par- in Parak Samachas, he says, V'haskin atzim chalom my Torah and Mishim Perek Yavis. V'haskin atzim, just like when you set aside the cloth, you have to set aside the Kedusha of Sefer Torah, so too. V'haskin atzim chalom, you don't just sit down and learn. It comes with, uh, you have to prepare, set it aside. It should be the Kedusha of Kedusha Torah and so on. So a person could take a Moshe if he's wondering that it seems like he's Yisurim uh, for what purpose are they? But you should know that it's Hashem working with him, he's, he's making him a Kali, a vessel for Kedusha and the Isis of the Sefer Torah of Teresh of Alpeh. Pasuk Chav Zayin, Ki Anoich Yedat Yaz Merich Havaz Arpacha HaKosha, Ki Hain Baideni Chayim Ocha Meirim, Mamrim Hayisem Im Hashem. If Tzadik says, Moshe Rabbeinu tells the Yidin, from the day I knew you, you're rebellious with Hashem. It should say Neged Hashem, against Hashem. What does it mean Im Hashem? So he says that a Yid is, is always connected to Hashem, so much so that he can never even do an Avera fully. They say Rav Zusha, he, uh, he saw in Shemayim that all the, mal- all the bad Malachim that were created from Averis of Yidin, he never saw a full Malach. The one was missing eyes, one was missing hand, one was missing feet. Why? Because when the Yid was doing an Avera, even when he fell to the lowest level, he knew that he was doing all against Hashem's will and it was, it was eating him up and he gave a krecht and he sighed. He couldn't, he couldn't fully enjoy, he couldn't fully benefit. It says, Mamim Hayisa Mim Hashem, even when you were rebellious, it was in Hashem. You were never, you were never totally disconnected from Hashem. You could tell Hashem, his I, 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 I distanced myself, but I never, I never severed the connection. Uh, the uh, the continues the The say that Kali Yisrael in the Ikfus of the Mashiach, which is our generation. The Moshe says, I'm going to tell you everything that's going to be for you in the end of days. So why does it say before you? It should say before your children, your grandchildren. So the answer is, is that's because the, 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 the Moshe Rabbeinu was telling them that Dor Hadeya, his generation, is going to come back in the end of days. And everything that he's going to say now in Parsha of Hazinu is going to be for them when they come back in the, in the end of days. I wanted to use this to answer up maybe a shtickle question. There in Halacha, in Shulchan Aruch, it says that really a woman on the night of Pesach doesn't have to do her seba, she doesn't have to lean. Unless she's a Isha Chashuva. An Isha Chashuva, she's a Chashuva, she has to lean. So the Ramos says, V'hanoshem shalano Chashuva, is saying, our women are Chashuva and they, they all lean. It's like, it's interesting, what do you mean? If the Allah was, they don't have to lean. What, what happened in the Ramos times all of a sudden that all the women became Chashuvas? So I was thinking to answer, the Rizal says that the generation of Ikfus, the, the, the Tkufa of Ikfus of the Mashiach started already in his generation, what, 2400 uh, something years ago. And he says that if you look and you pay attention, you'll see that their wives rule over them. They're not the men of the house, the women of the men of the house. He says the reason why that is, is because we are the Gulm of the Dorha Midbar. And by the ego, either they took part, or the men took part in the ego, not the women or they didn't protest, or they should have protested, and the women were innocent. So now, when they came back, now in the end of days, the women have a certain chashivas over the men. And that's why you find these Talmud Chacham that the women will love them. So now, if you look at chronological uh, generational order, that the Ramah and the Rizal were at the same, with the same Kufa. So because the Rizal says that uh, 
his generation is the beginning of the of the Mashiach, and that's the beginning of when the gener when the neshama of the Dara Midbar are coming back down. So that's why the Rama Paskin and then the Hanoshim Shalonu Chashuvays, they're all Chashuvays because they're also from the Dara Midbar and they didn't partake in the ego like we did. So Mamela they have the mitzvah of Seba, and that takes us to Hazinu.